Hello, Julie here. Just going to show you how I create a little Easter wreath card. I've got the scrap card and one of the circle masks. I'm just putting a stack of paper or a notepad underneath. And I'm going to go in with the graphite in the elements and the stencil brush. Now you need to knock most of the ink off of the brush. Hold the mask in place and just flick the tiniest amount of the ink in. Oops. Around the edge. This is basically so you can see the circle where you want to stamp the wreath without having to draw it on. There you are. Now I'm going to have Midnight Meandering, I believe this little stamp is called. I'm going to ink it up with my Nocturne. I need to make sure I have a nice lot of ink to this stamp. going to stamp it just to the side. Apply some pressure. Don't be in any hurry to lift this. I'm going to make sure that it's transferred all the ink onto the card. Let's hope. And this, yep, not too bad. Now, I'm going to use a selection of little foliage stamps. I've got my collection. And I'm going to start off with the old paint. You can see I'm just going to carefully follow the shape that's left when I remove the mask. Doing first and going back in with a second generation. This looks a nice spring colour. Now you can have a little wreath for anything, can't you? There's lots of people around where I live. Got the spring wreaths on their door. Should I do another one? Maybe just a second generation round there. That's it. Ooh, what else shall I use? This is from a little foliage set. I don't think I've ever used this one. Let's see what it looks like. What can I use? Lime punch. Hmm, that's a nice one. Oh dear. Flicked a little bit onto the centre of the card. I must have pressed a bit too hard on my ink pad. There's always a way to get around it. I'm going to 
as accident prone as me, you have to pick up a few quick fixes. might do is just do some little trails to cover that up and I think for that I'm going to use Shady Lane one of these long trails now, give it a little touch. now if you have just a little scrap of paper when you're doing this. You can mask off above so it doesn't cover the entire or go into the whole centre of the wreath. Right, I'm going to just take that lid off. to talk I'm so busy <laughs> concentrating on what I'm doing Just remember to breathe right. I think what else I might do is add some more wispy edges this and another little phage stump That won't overstump the black, which I'm pleased about. But there you go. Now, if I can find something like a little flower, another one from one of the foliage sets, I believe. If it isn't, forgive me. I'm going to maybe some dance, I think. And I'm not going to ink up the whole stem. I'm just gonna ink up where the flowers are. Does it show? There you are. I'll do a bit more of the spring colours to the card. It was looking beautiful in my garden this year. We only planted the bulbs a couple of years ago, but this year they've really taken off. And they really, really make a picture. In fact, they started flowering way before I thought they should. I think it was about February they started flowering. But luckily, there's some that are flowering now. Lasting beautifully. Right. Now actually, looking at this, I think, with that lovely long trail, 
I'm going to stamp that again with Sundance because I think it stamp Sundance or Shadow and Lime Punch. No, I'm going to go Sundance. Well, these are so juicy, these ink pads, you don't need to press too hard. Oop, that's close. I'm going to cover it a little bit. Oh, yes, that's nice. Shall we call it a day there? Or should we add something different, something more to it? I'm looking for a real wispy foliage stamp. Excuse me whilst I have a little root in the box. Ah, oh, this is the one I want. Right, I love this one. Now this one, what should I stamp it in? I'm going to go with the Versafine. I think I'm actually going to go back with peeled paint. Now, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't want to come right to the very edge of that. So, this one, oh, I just love it. It gives a real fluffy natural lovely effect can you see how i'm inking it up so i'm not going to the right the edge of the stem i'm going off the edge of the ink pad i'm doing first and second generation There you are. I'm going to add a little bit of the, the peeled paint. Peeled paint? Yes, peeled paint in the Distress Oxide. I'm just going to just gently ground or add a little bit of colour underneath where they're sitting. And that's it. Quite an easy Easter card. You can add a greeting if you like. I might add with love. I'm going to use my Versafine Claire in the Nocturne. Ink it up. Decide where I'm going to put it. Over here. Now, if this doesn't work, there's an easy way. Yeah, shall I? Shall I do it on a little bit of white paper, a little bit of card, a little scrap of card here? I might just ink that up, stamp it onto there. find the scissors oh, that'll do oh, that's better I'm just going to whoops sir Use black marker pen. Excuse, this is an old one, it's really dirty. But I'm just going to go draw up to the edge of that. Yep. 
any black marker pen will do, do it with a sharp pen if you like. Now I'm just going to slightly shape it between my fingers. A bit of glue. And I'm going to place that just there. Oh, that's better. That shows up much nicer. And stamping straight onto it. And there you go. One easy Easter card.